Welcome to Parked Up Garage. Well, good morning. About seven of y'all that might be working on some of the bigger stuff might want to know this. If you're doing a cam and crank sensor on, on a Volvo D13, uh, what you're going to want to do, let me flip you around here, is that you're going to get up in here. That inner fender right there, you only really have four bolts. You got one here, one here, well, five. There's going to be one there, and then the two that go through up here in the top. Fire this mug up, turn it to the left. Get this out. Then, when you get up under here, you'll be able to look right up there. Right there. Focus. That's your cam sensor. If you don't know how that that works you squeeze down on the end of it pull it unplug it. it takes a 10 millimeter socket to remove it if you look down over here right in the back I'll, I'll try to get pointed to it I've got the connector off right there into my finger but it, I know it ain't great but it, it's right there it's got the same exact part number and uh, same sensor 10 millimeter bolt Un, un, unplug it, take the bolt out, wiggle it. Now, to get that, that crank loose, let me flip you back around. You're going to slide right up in here, and you'll see it right up there. Well, I can see it because I know what I'm looking for. I'll try to get my finger right on it. Right there. I mean, I've got my finger right on the sensor. What you're going to do is you're going to take your narrow little pry stick and you're going to slide up in there between. Here, let me, let me flip you back around again. You're going to slide right up in under the flex pipe, right up there to it. Then take a small little mallet. You know, like a, a bumper loader 400. Just give a little tap, tap on that sound. She'll break it loose. Then you slide it out. That one right there is simple. You just, you know, slide it out, slide it in, put the bolt back in, plug it up. Now, up there on that cam sensor, flip you back around again. Now, when you look up there on that cam sensor, it's got a little heat guard that's on it. Make sure you put it back on there. Hear me? It, it'll keep it from getting real hot on because you're right there at the back of that EGR valve. But if y'all didn't know how to do these, and that's where it's at, if you're a smaller fella like me, you can pull this inner fender out, jump right in here, and knock it out. You bigger fellas, it, it, it's going to turn into a six, seven, eight hour job because you're going to pull the seats out, you're going to pull the mat out, you're going to pull the doghouse out, then you guys, you big guys, will be able to get to it. But I thought y'all might want to know that, so have a good one, and I'll catch your leg. <laughs> See here. You, you thought I was done with you. All right, lay another listen over here real quick. Now, I'm gonna flip you on back around here on this thing. Now, I done all this. Of course, I'm done now. I done got that popped in, that one up there. Now, if you get the gasket to go on this tube here, coming off the diffuser pipe off the turbo, and you get the gasket that goes here. Now, you can pull this whole tube out of the way and I mean, boom, you're right there. You're all over. Really, I mean, it's just easy to do. And and I happen to be thinking too, now, if you guys have problems with your DOC and DPF getting face plug, and, and, it, and I have this real fine, it, 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 it almost reminds you of a fiberglass on it, but a little finer. Now, What's going to be going on is the tube that right here, that thing due to the heat that's coming from whenever you start burning up here and you're putting heat to it and you've got several hundred degrees in there over time, is that, that thing, it'll start coming apart. But even if you take that tube off and look in there, you can't tell. The way it burns, it, it comes off in layers and it, and it looks good. But that is the problem with you face plugging in there and you can't figure out why. Put a changing on it. It'll end it. It'll take care of your problem. But when I was getting ready to 
put the inner fender and everything back in. I was like, hey, let me give you another listen on it and, you know, take that pipe out. Go ahead and order the clamps just in case you break one, which you probably are. And the two seals, slide that pipe out of your way, you're right there. You're, you're right on it. Uh, and and it, it will make your life a lot easier. But y'all have a good one. Now I am done with you for today. So I'll catch up with you later. Thank you for watching Parked Up Garage.